Bandit Warfare Badge On the Eastern Front, particularly, the Nazi security apparatus labeled Jews, Communists, Soviet officials, Red Army deserters, and anyone perceived as a security threat as e-partisans e or bandits. Security operations in rear areas targeting armed irregular fighters often blurred into massacres of civilians. These actions included the burning of villages, destruction of crops, theft of livestock, deportation of able-bodied individuals for forced labor in Germany, and abandonment of orphan children. All versions of the badge share a common design, featuring a skull and crossed bones at the base, surrounded by a laurel wreath of oak leaves, and centered with a sword. The sword's handle bears a sunwheeled swastika, while its blade is depicted plunged into a hydra with five heads, symbolizing the partisans. The second version of the badge boasted larger oak leaves in the wreath and a larger sunwheeled swastika. Historian Philip W. Blood draws attention to the badge's resemblance to the symbol of the Thule Society, an occultist group which also incorporates a sword and a swastika. He suggests that Himmler and Erich von dem Boxeluski encapsulated Germanic mythology into the metal as a representation of Lebensraum. The badge came in three grades. Bronze, awarded for 20 combat days against bandits. Silver, awarded for 50 combat days against bandits. Gold, awarded for 150 combat days against bandits. For Luftwaffe personnel, the criteria were based on the number of operational flights slash sorties flown in support of bandit fighting operations, 30 for bronze, 75 for silver, and 150 for gold. Balloon Observer's Badge the Balloon Observer's Badge, German, Ballonbeobotterbzeichen, was a military decoration in Nazi Germany during World War II. It was conferred upon German army personnel who operated gas balloons, flying them at altitudes ranging from 300 feet, 91 meters, to 500 feet, 152 meters, above the ground. These balloons were vulnerable targets for Allied pilots and ground fire, leading to their scarcity and limited issuance of the badge. The badge itself is die-struck and features a laurel wreath adorned with oak leaves and acorns. At the top, the National Eagle clutches a swastika, while below is a depiction of an observation balloon. The Balloon Observer's Badge was classified into three grades based on a point system, bronze, 20 points, silver, 45 points, and gold, 75 points. Points were allocated based on various factors, including the difficulty and success of missions undertaken. Despite the criteria, there are no records indicating the awarding of the gold version of the badge. Recommendations for the badge were typically made by commanding officers of observer units, artillery units, or army units. Tank Destruction Badge The Tank Destruction Badge, German, Sonderabsichen für das Niederkampfen von Panzerkampfwagen durch Einzelkampfer, was a military decoration awarded during World War II to individuals of the Wehrmacht who had single-handedly destroyed an enemy tank or armored combat vehicle using a handheld weapon. Anti-tank units were not eligible for this award. Established on March 9, 1942, it could be granted for actions dating back to June 22, 1941, the start of Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union. Prior to the introduction of this badge, soldiers were awarded the General Assault Badge for such actions. On December 18, 1943, the OKH introduced a gold class to recognize the single-handed destruction of five tanks. Consequently, a soldier could possess four silver badges, all of which would be replaced by a gold version upon the destruction of a fifth tank, additional silver badges could be added thereafter. The badge featured a blackened 42mm by 18mm panzer for tank attached to an 88mm by 33mm silver band. Black stripes measuring 4mm in width ran 2mm from the top and bottom edges of the band. The badge was pinned to the sleeve and then sewn on, typically with a cloth or cotton backing. The gold award was similar in design, featuring a gold bullion wire background with black horizontal stripes. However, it had a silver wash applied to the tank instead of a black wash. The badge came in two grades. Silver, presented for each tank destroyed. Gold, awarded for the destruction of five tanks. One notable recipient of this badge was Gunther Wiesens, who destroyed 21 enemy tanks. Sniper's Badge the Sniper's Badge, German, Scharfschutzenabziehen, was a military decoration of Nazi Germany awarded to snipers during World War II. Instituted on August 20, 1944, initially, only personnel serving in the German Army and the Waffen-SS were eligible. However, later, by order of the High Command, it was extended to snipers of other armed services as well. The badge was divided into three grades. Third class, no cord, awarded for 20 enemy kills. 
Second class with a silver cord awarded for 40 enemy kills. First class with a gold cord awarded for 60 enemy kills. Enemy kills were counted from September 1, 1944, excluding close quarter kills. Each kill had to be confirmed by witnesses and reported to the unit. The sniper's badge itself was made of greenish-gray cloth embroidered in an oval shape. It featured a black eagle's head facing left, with white plumage, ochre-yellow colored eyes, and a closed beak. The eagle's body was adorned with three oak leaves and a mounted acorn on the left. The badge's edges were sewn, and the different grades were distinguished by a circumferentially sewn cord in either silver, second class, or gold, first class. It was worn on the right sleeve of the uniform. An order issued by the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht in early 1945 mandated that the sniper's badge had to be removed before capture, particularly due to Soviet troops' practice of executing captured snipers on sight. Following the war, Nazi-era decorations were banned. However, the sniper's badge was among those reauthorized for wear by the Federal Republic of Germany in 1957. Qualifying members of the Bundeswehr wore the award on the ribbon bar, represented by a small replica of the badge on a field gray ribbon. Wound Badge The wound badge had three classes. Black, third class, symbolizing iron, awarded to individuals wounded once or twice by hostile action, including air raids. Silver, second class, given for being wounded three or four times. Gold, first class, potentially posthumous, bestowed for sustaining five or more wounds. That the progression to higher classes could be waived in cases of severe injury resulting in the loss of a limb or eyesight, in such instances, the silver badge was awarded. Badges were manufactured from pressed steel, brass, and zinc. They were worn on the lower left breast of the uniform or tunic, positioned below all other awards. The wound badge ranked lower than combat badges. There were 24 approved manufacturers of the wound badge. Initially, the wound badge in black was crafted from sheet brass, painted semi-matte black, with a hollow reverse pinback attachment or solid construction. Later, from 1942, steel was used for production. The wound badge in silver was initially made from silver-plated brass, before 1942, and lacquered zinc, after 1942, featuring a solid reverse with either a needle pin or a broad flat pin bar. The wound badge in gold was a gilded version of the silver badge. In 1957, a revised version of the wound badge was authorized for wear, however, the previous type could still be worn if the swastika were removed, for example, by grinding. The July 20, 1944 wound badge was exclusively awarded to individuals injured during the failed assassination attempt on Adolf Hitler at the Wolf's Lair headquarters in Rassenburg, East Prussia. When the bomb detonated, 24 men were present, one officer was killed, and three others died shortly after from their wounds. In recognition of what Hitler perceived as fate intervening on his behalf, he ordered the creation of a special wound badge to commemorate the event. The design of the July 20th wound badge is based on the standard wound badge, but with some modifications. The helmet is slightly larger and higher, featuring the date, 20 July 1944 and a facsimile of Hitler's signature below the helmet and date. Like the standard wound badge, the July 20th version was awarded in three grades, black, silver, and gold. Recipients who already held the regulation wound badge were awarded the July 20th wound badge in a higher grade. All of these special wound badges were crafted from solid hallmarked silver by the Junker firm. Unlike the wound badge in black, the July 20th version did not have an entirely black design. Only the helmet and wreath were black, while the background remained silver to allow visibility of the date and facsimile signature. The July 20th wound badge in silver featured black highlights on the helmet swastika, date, and facsimile signature. The July 20th wound badge in gold had a silver background with the helmet and wreath colored gold. These badges were of two-piece construction, unlike the standard wound badges. Hitler personally presented the survivors with the special wound badge and a unique award document. The first awards were conferred in a ceremony on August 20, 1944. Posthumous awards were given to the recipients' wives. Interestingly, Hitler, despite being injured in the bombing, did not award himself one of these badges. He already possessed his own wound badge from World War I. The badge replaced the basic 1939 wound badge for those individuals awarded the July 20 badge. It's important to note that this badge was more of a personal gift from Hitler to those involved and was intended to be a one-off souvenir of the event. Recipients of the July 20 wound badge could upgrade their badges if they earned higher grades of the wound badge. 
Counteradmiral Hans Erik Voss eventually received the July 20 wound badge in all three grades, earning it in black on July 20, 1944, and having it upgraded twice for subsequent wounds. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.